France in their changed kits, but will the results be the same? They have hit 30 points in all three of their games so far. And they have been an absolute joy to watch, unless you've been on the other side of the ball, in which case, I imagine it has been somewhat of a nightmare. They've already been out once today, 31-5 victors against a really impressive Irish team, perhaps their most complete victory of the tournament so far. As is customary in this under-18 Six Nations Festival. They have rustled up the bingo balls and everybody is getting a run out. What about this Italian team though? Super impressive against England. Unlucky not to get a victory. Then they were nilled against the Irish. But they are back here today. The first of two games for them. This is the second of two for the French. Both of these teams have a 70 minute to look forward to. On Saturday, France will play England. Wales will play Italy. And this game four of six today. Still Scotland versus England. And Italy versus Scotland to come. This day three of the under 18 Six Nations Festival. Day two in the women's competition. And you join us in North Wales at Stadium CSM, the RGC you see there in the background on the far side, stands for Rugby Gogleth Cymru, Rugby North Wales, the men's team that usually play here in the Indigo Premiership, and it has been the home to age group Six Nations Rugby before a long, long time. The Wales under-20s men played here, they migrated south to Cardiff, but it is great that the tradition and the future of our great sport at international level is being represented here in North Wales by a smiling Italian team. Who mean business. They really did take it to England. They were desperately unlucky not to get the victory. They were 19-12 up. Conceded in the very last play. Set pieces sound. They've got solid go forward. But what they're going to need to do today is play in the right areas and not give up any silly ball because France have shown that if you do that, they will punish you from anywhere, from everywhere. So France looking for their first victory of the tournament. Italy. For their first France for their fourth and this is how they line up lots of changes Mayana Goni comes in at scrum half Charlie Goyat returns at 10 and Faustine Pizzicelli returns at outside centre after playing 10 moments ago the dangerous Imi Badrou continues at full back Agnes No, who opened the scoring in their first game is on the tight head side not the loose head side this time and Marine Kachbarczyk Duwe returns to the second row alongside Eva Tunier. We also see Lena Lamour and Cassandra Lentour return to the back row. As for Italy, they line up 1 to 15. Alia Pitonci at scrum half. Super dangerous. Great delivery from Vittoria Francolini. A real box of tricks at 15 as well. Giorgetti, Kelly, and Mayon at 1, 2, and 3. They anchor a strong scrub. And they are captained by Rita De Leo. Who despite that saying, she lines up in the centre. This is definitely in the back row. Big replacement benches. Both teams taking full advantage of the fact you can name as many as 13. Although France only going for 12 today. But serious skill. Anna Danielle, Zara Makat like demons <laughs> 35 minutes one way France will kick us off attacking the try line to the right Italy receiving the kickoff Stamp Dunstan, the referee in charge from the RFU. 
which is, of course, the English okay. Union. Blue. White on the whistle. France ready, Italy ready, Amber Stamp Dunstan is ready. Game four on day two of the under-18 Six Nations Festival is underway. And a bouncing ball received by Italy. Francolini tackled hard. That was Eva Tunye with the tackle. The turnover's good. France straight on the front foot. There have been some changes to the side because that is Perrine Fanien who is at scrum half, not Maya Gonyi, who was named on the team sheet for well, France, working it out to the left hand side. This is where they've had so much joy. Barcelo oh. tackled well for Barcelo. Fanien gets France moving. Charlie Goyat. Now Lea Guiton. This speed of ball is going to be difficult for Italy to cope with. Over the top to Bordreau. Bordreau back inside. It's a little scrappy, but it's the chaos theory for France, isn't it? Just keep it moving, even if it's not clean. Guiton straightens up. Alarms, bells ringing for Italy already. Fang Yen. It's great handling, but great scramble defending. Use it. Van Yen told to use it. Just slows things down. Advantage. Mazoki earns an advantage for the high tackle from Giorgetti. Keep that mark, please, Emily. No advantage. Coming back. Lou, Lou, back on me. He has 10 on me. What are the First penalty of the day. Set to the corner by Charlie Goyette. The line. Take the line. And Lea Guiton. Nine, we every footstep nine. of that was tapped to the can't we? It's most off putting. Good line-up ball off the top. And Goyat with the bouncing ball tries to dance through. Plenty of Italian bodies to stop her. Two and a half minutes gone. Look at these numbers for France. The ball just has to go. And it's an excellent tackle. Bitonchi ushers Sibia into touch. A little bit rushed in the end. Kelly keeps a cool head. No to Kelly at hook out for Italy. Bits on she. Sorry, that was Kelly in a scrum half. Finds Asha Licardo. No! No. No block. France have gone here. And Finn Yen bounces on the loose ball. Well timed pass by Pisticelli. And Italy rushing up. What an offload by Guitton. Well, they move the ball like no one else in this tournament. Fan Yen. Goyat back inside, lovely handling. Fan Yen once more, and Mazzocchi knocks it on. Knock on advantage. Oh. Good position. Knock on. We've got a question here. Has somebody tied that microphone to Amber Stamp Dunstan's shoes? So we can hear every step. It's great to hear her and her insight. Top referee. Great to have fabulous referees from all of the unions around this Six Nations tournament. If the ball goes out, then track that, okay? Crouch! Bind! Alia Bitonchi. No. Bind. Quickly! She's the goal kicker as well. 
Ali Abiton Chi. Crouch! Predominantly a scrum half, but. Bind! We've seen her chance her arm at 10 as well. Set! Talented young half back. <laughs> Italy have gone early. France can go through Fanyet. And they will go too. Pisticelli, we've seen how dangerous she can be. As a ball carrier, Barcelo is out there on the left flank. Van Yen back in field, linking up well with Goyat, and then through the gap goes Agnes now. Turnover's good. No turnover's good. No. Turned over really well by Chiara Kelly. And now Italy fumbling the ball, but gathering at the second attempt. Good to release the speed, but Perrine Van Yen. Ooh, hasn't quite found touch. And Italy looking to run it out of their own 22. Cassandra Leteur turns it over. And this one's starting at a frantic pace. Six minutes gone, still nil-nil. Most of the play happening in this part of the field. Great. Referee happy enough to play on though, and it could work for France this. Eva Tounier. Van Yen goes to the open side. That's a beautiful pass, and then inside to Bordru. Bordru dances past one, dances past two, and dots down ahead of Rita Dalio. For the game's opening try. Good work, keep it up. Amy Bodru is inside now, loads of work to any, do. That little any stop and go. Now? Leaves two defenders in her wake. Flirted with the dead ball line what? there, Amy Bodru. Um, pillars by me or outside by you? Fine. Razad Saiki with the conversion, no doubt. Is she okay or is she going off? Which way? Timing. Italy restart. Good. That was taken in by Latour. And then Saiki, Frenchman scoring that conversion, coming up to nine minutes. Good work. Charlie Goyat. Kicks that one into space, a good chase too, sits up for Francolini. Well, she might have preferred the touchline no, as Frank. well, with a hand on that from both through Pitonchi. Colella. Into traffic and she's turned over. Uh, France on the counter-attack, Perrine Fanier. Release! Back! No space Back. through, without a scrum half, so it steps Perales. Victoria Zeni. Back. Good. Oh, great shot. Forces the knock on. The Lamour. Not for advantage. 
Shaheen Fanyen finds Goyat. Advantage over! This is where they have most of the joy at this left hand side, but that's a loose pass. This Maud Barcelo trouble with the numbers on the back of her shirt. Oh, this is lovely handling. Saiki. Batunye chopped down. Italy doing a lot of defending in these opening ten minutes. Knock on. Knock on. Same scrum. Very good. In. Crouch! Bind! Set! So Giorgetti, Kelly and Mayon up against Mazzocchi, Guiton and No. And that is a dominant scrum by the French and it'll be reset. No, no, no. Just a reset. Eight. 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 You need to be in. I don't want to see that, okay? Legs on the air, eh? Legs on the air. Yeah, fine. No, 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 no. Change your quad, change your quad. Yes. Yeah. All right, I'll come around and see. Nothing clear my side, both just went down. Yeah, no worries. Keep working hard. That's a great touch call over there. Really good. Say that again? No, that's what I mean. Really good. Unsure what he said. It's possible to stop this from if, uh, of, of course. Yeah, first. It, we, it was, I will stop it if it goes up okay. or down. For me, there was just a twist. Okay. When it went down, we have to stop. Okay? okay. okay. I, I don't understand. Hang on, hang on. Yes, hang on. Excuse me, is this a head injury? No, no, no. No head injury. Are you happy to carry on? Okay. It's not head. <laughs> well confirmed there by Amber Stamp Dunstan. Chiara Kelly. I will step this way. So Went down under duress nine, from nine, the nine, nine. Can I have some room? French set scrum. Of course, in under 18s, yes, there's no please. HIA. If there's any suspicion of a head knock, the player is removed and will be unable to continue. Set! Oh, yeah. Bit on cheek. Goes up the short side, gets absolutely marmalized, but then Vittoria Zeni takes it on. He's shown to be very adept playmaker. Rita De Leo gets dumped on her posterior big carry. It's better by the Italians, but that's more than adept in defense as well as attack. That's been mistimed, and Charlie Goyat can fly hack forward. Push. Oh, it's a push. Ten on ten. Mark's here. That's been kept in athletically. I'm 
<laughs> Locked off by France. Perales. With the slippy fingers, not the sticky fingers. Alicia and Fanazzo. No advantage. Knock off. Here's a shot. Good scrum. Keep going. Okay. Come on, Prima. Come on, Prima. Eight. Go. Come on. Nine, I need space. Crouch! Bind! Set! Best period of the game for Italy so far, and lovely footwork by Fogari needs to stay in field and does. Ricardo. Bits on she, it's over the shoulder. Bouncing ball scooped up by Mayon. France over it straight away. Brilliant line speed by the French. She is patched up. Halfway through the game. It's about as good a contest as France have been given so far. Set. Great squeeze by the Italian scrum. And they've won the penalty. Immense. And a France back 10, referee says yes, great line by Ciccati. Oh no, knocked on. So close to being brilliant. Unlucky. Ashley Licardo. Lock forward, trying to gallop through. Not committing to the catch. Is she coming? Crouch! Bind! Set! Oh, the Italian scrum is doing a magnificent job. They have turned the French over inside the 22 and Ciccati give them a great position. But again, France just into that passing channel. Margot Sibien saves the day. And the ball back with France off the offload. No advantage. Too quick, so quick. Knock on. Knock on. Mark. No advantage. Scrum. Scrum. Yeah. Hang on. Yeah, can we have a sub? Worryingly, that's uh, Alia Pitonchi. Scrum half. Who's down for Italy? These yeah, are the little guys you can hear. Oh, is she here? Okay. Terrifying. Look at the size of it. Snatch your baby from its pram, that thing. No, no, we've had a sub. Can I have some space? Thank you. No, no, we've got a sub. Stop. 
Space, please. Crouch! Find! The change. Set! That's scrum half for Italy. Another unbelievable scrum. Oh, but illegal. They've driven up instead of across, and that is a big shame. Elena Giorgetti. And a great clearance kick. Yep. France survived that assault on their 22. Change being made. Anis Perales coming out. For les bleus. Looked like it was Cézé coming on, but I'll confirm that. Advantage to France, so they're going to go cross field here. Goyat sends it to space. It's a brilliant kick, but they just run out of gas. No advantage coming back. Yeah, straight off feet. Sounds like two. Can't get there, but there will be a penalty. Number two, straight off feet. Listen to me, please. No, no, no. Guys, the subs need to be when the ball's out, please. Mancla Dosso coming on for France. Blue. Blue. You need to listen to me. I'm talking to you. Stay out. Three minutes gone, 12 minutes to go. Still just a one score game. This feels like an important moment here if Tilly can weather this oncoming storm. Set! Hold Italy, hold! It is in SZ. Just come on, we're in 23. Pick and go from Lamour. And that pass just beats Goyat. But again, the handling so fluid. Lovely inside ball. France into the 22, and again it's Perrin Fanyen on that trademark inside line. Another try for the scrum half in what has been an exceptional couple of days. Almost a carbon copy of the one she scored in the previous game. Um, 13 whites, please. Two in two 13. games for Perrin Fanyen. 13 it's not just white where she runs from. It's the timing of the run as well and the fact Thank that her you. teammates know she's going to be there. Some player. <laughs> 14 nil. 10 minutes to go. Water off, please. Water off. 
two and four. Substitution, please. Two and four. Time. Eleven minutes. Are they done? I can see two, four. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, on you. Well, the restart bounces. Important for Italy to just hang in there now. They need to get the next score. Because given the defending they've done, if France get one more, then the floodgates could open. Remember, in these 35-minute games, they've hit everyone for 30. And now Zeze is away. Must have gone forward. Has gone forward. Mark. Crouch! Bind! Set! Hold! You Another good carry from Elisa Ciccati. She goes direct. Well, that's been left behind. Bad news for Italy. Elie Trigouet is on. One of the most direct 12s in this competition. No, Italy! Knock on advantage. It was timed so well, but it was... Left behind by Lamour. Oh, lined up no, and put down. Knock on. Are you okay? Knock on. Mark's here. Yeah. Oh, Mary Pringle sends on Valentina Carciani. 28 white. 28. 28. Okay, thank you. Um, eight minutes. Yeah. yeah, all okay. Yeah. I need you to stay down. Take a step, please. Nine. Nine, can I do my course? No, 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 nine, nine, nine. I need to do my course. Crouch! Bind! Set! Anya Rossini replacing Bitonchi. Receives it after a good carry from eight, but Angelucci is going to quickly run out of space. Turned over one way, then the other. It's back with the Italians, just up over halfway. If you want to go, if you want to. Well, of course she does, Perrine Fanien. And the handling in close quarters, then the strength from Lena Lamour. Finds a good offload to Mancladosso. No hat! That's a rock. Yeah. Rock. No, no. Mark's here. Yeah. Into the last five minutes. Blue. Game four of the day. Still two to go. Yes, the last we'll see Seven. of France until the weekend. Blue. Seven. 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 Seven.
So France going in search of a third try that would put this one beyond any doubt. Lovely ball, Marine Kachmarek Doué. Oh, good tackle. Crunching hit of Tunye. He's back with France. The delayed pass for Tregoué. Now Sibien. Knocked on. Italy ball. We've set it now. <laughs> Perrin van Yen just wants to play and play and play. 14 and 6. 14 well, everyone six. is getting a run out in this game. So many changes. Keep them Still set another game for Italy later on. They'll play Scotland. And it's Scotland yeah. versus England next. England looking for their second victory of the day. Scotland for their first of the tournament. That one locked it over. Smart ball. Oh, but Italy were looking again in the passing channels. She's through the middle. Oh, lovely hands again. And that is fed out to Kalia Berroyer. Holding the edge on the right wing. Berroyer. Scores for France, and it is almost inevitable. Nice delayed pass, wasn't it? Anything really good work from Cassandra Leteur. Composed handling by the back row You're in the outside the channel. Post. You're both on the same post. Draw that one in, but it's not going to bother the posts. But it is going to mean that France are going to pick up another victory here to go four from four. Yeah, don't. Backwards, says the referee. France getting away with one. No, backwards. Last couple of minutes of the game. Italy on that ball, trying to rip. That's fine. Now having to get out of the way. Advantage. Side. Side entry by the Italians. So France with a free go. Yep. In front of the road, 22 or another Still pass. Might advantage. have opened it right up there. Italy having a rush up to defend. France just attacking from anywhere and Italy defending well, going edge to edge. No oh, they've just crept offside. Advantage. But again, tapping, going, advantage for the high tackle. And the engine on these French players. 17, 17. And a yellow card. Keep going. Not time. For Beatrice Candela. Means that Italy Not time. will end the game with 14 Not on the pitch. Two minutes. Oh, still two minutes to go. So 
our clock has gone red, but we've been told by Amber Stan Stunston that there's still time on the clock. Chance for more tries, more opportunity. Cross field kick. Oh, doesn't really bounce in anyone's favour. Yeah. Front. No, not now. Not now. Back. Off the head. Advantage. High. Another penalty. Yeah. I think France have just run Italy off their feet here. They've shown immense character just to stay in the game. Not, no left. Oh, and that's a lovely show and go by Goyat to create some space. And that space belongs to Tregoué. Elie Tregoué gets his second try of the day. And that is a lovely link up between 10 and 12. That's, that's full time. It's a beautifully timed run by Tregoué, but Charlie Goyat just hits the line and beats the first defender. Then yeah. the offload is good, then Tregoué. Because of her physical presence, no one steps to her in the tackle, but then she's got the acceleration to pull away. Goyet <laughs> to add the extras to second clean sheet of the tournament for France. It's another heavy victory. Four tries. It's the first time they haven't hit 30. Italy, an excellent team, but just like everyone else, dispatched by the French. Tregoué got the final try. Baudru, Ferroué, and Fanien all over the whitewash as well. Three conversions by Charlie Goyat of France and defeat in Italy by 26 points to nil. Thank you. 